Good evening. Our problem tonight is 10 teams. So we'll be using single elimination under sports management. So when we say single, that is a knockout system. Once the competitor loses its chance, then the competitor will be eliminated right away. And so we'll be having the formula, which is N minus 1. N represents to the number of teams, competitors, and players. And minus 1 is constant. And so N is 10 minus 1. The answer is 9 games. So there will be 9 games for the whole duration of the competition. Now let's proceed to power of 2 minus 1 to identify the number of buys. As you can see, power of 2 here is 16. So why not 8? Because the result is negative. Remember that it should be equal to the number of power of 2 or beyond to the number of our number of teams. So we will be using 16 minus after which we will subtract 16 minus 10 so we have 6 buys again those who will be buys meaning to say they are not the winners so meaning to say they will be moved to the next round remember buy is just an advance or waiting team, players, or competitors. Let's have the plot. This is to identify who will be the game one, the winner one, game two, until game nine. And then, don't forget to seed the tournament. So when we say seed, that is to avoid mismatch. Supposing team 1 is one of those best teams. So we will put by in here. Team 2, not. And team 3. Team 4, one of those. 5. By. 6. 7. 8. Bye. Nine. Bye. Ten. Bye. As you can see, we have six buys. One, two, three, four, five, six. So basically, these teams will be moved to the next round. They are our waiting teams. Now let's proceed to our bracketing. Although 1, 4, 5, 8, 9, and 10 are buys, then we should close the bracket. This is to consider that they are moving to the next round. Okay, eight. Nine. Ten. Now how about two and three? This is our game one. So if there's a game, there's a winner. Supposing our winner is two. So we'll write team two here. And no need to carry or write team 3 because team 3 is already eliminated. Now how about 
6 and 7. This is our game 2. Supposing we have team 7. And now, we are done with the round 1. So let's proceed to the round 2 of the games. So in here, we can already let team 1 to play with team 2. So this is our game 3. So we have, let's say, team 2. As you can see, right after game 2, here comes that uh, team 2 competes with the team 1 without any further rest. Although with this uh, situation, you can uh, create or you can let others to play first. But uh, let's make sure that uh, we have this in order. Okay. Although you can uh, reshuffle or you can uh, exchange those who will be the next or who will uh, uh, play in the next game. It's up to you. As long as uh, you can come up with the nine games. This is our game four. This is our game five. Game six. Okay, we're almost done. So this is our game seven. This is our game eight and lastly which is the championship match to be played between team two and team nine this is our game nine let's say team two is the winner in other words team two is the champion In here, you can uh, write any number. You can have any of the teams here. Example, you want uh, team 9 as your champion, then uh, it's up to you. But uh, during final, then it's up to the players who can make it to the top or who can uh, be the champion in the last uh, round of the the competition. I hope you learned something from the presentation. Although you can uh, make the other way instead of having this kind of plot, you can do the other way. Example, or the other way is like this. One by two, three, four by five by. It's still the same. As long as you can come up with the nine games and six buys. So thank you everyone and God bless.